remains to, uh, an important influence uh, among many others. Well, so what's the point of all this? Well, it's simply to say that throughout uh, history, theology has grown, it's been nurtured in the soil of philosophy, and in particular for the West, uh, Greek philosophy. Um, but it's always been, and this is important, an open discussion uh, about which philosophical orientation is really going to house and best suit um, the expression of our theological interests, our theological doctrines. Okay, so this is a, important to keep in mind as we move to think a little bit about what process theologians and philosophers are up to. So they're engaged in this discussion about what is the best philosophical foundation for expressing our theological beliefs. Okay, so just as Augustine then used uh, both Plato and Plotinus and transformed their thought in many ways to express his theology, and, and just as uh, Aquinas used that of Aristotle, uh, process thinkers today, process thinkers have looked to the metaphysics uh, of Whitehead. Uh, and they've done so for various reasons, but in particular, they've done so, as many of you have communicated already, to, to situate Christian faith, and certainly not just Christian faith, other traditions as well, but to situate these traditions in a metaphysics, in a way of viewing nature and life uh, that is more conducive to the deepest intuitions of these traditions. Okay, so it's a, in this way, it's a, it's a metaphysics. It's a way of viewing the nature of things. And uh, we're going to get to that momentarily. Let me just say a word about some of these lovely images here. In the middle, of course, we have Whitehead. Uh, above Whitehead is Charles Hartshorn, who was an assistant uh, and, and perhaps the most formative uh, influence in terms of the development of process theology. Many of you mentioned uh, John Cobb, who was a, a student of Hartshorn in Chicago and still, still lives there in Claremont. I believe he's 96 now, which is amazing. It makes us all, all feel old. You know, I got to see him uh, some weeks ago, which was great. Below him is David Ray Griffin, uh, a student of Cobb, a formative, certainly, for uh, development of process thought at Claremont School of Theology. Uh, equally, if not more so, is Marjorie Suhaki, who also taught in Claremont. Monica Coleman, who only recently uh, left Claremont, has been uh, a, a very important voice for womanist uh, process thought and has a, a, a wonderful following throughout uh, CST. And then Catherine Keller was also mentioned uh, by a few of you who at Drew has, has led the, uh, the way forward in, in feminist and liberation process style thinking. Now, could we name many others? Certainly. Uh, there is, it, it's just sort of a honeycomb image here. It could expand, it could broaden out in, in very uh, significant ways. So